The Unite 4 Pro from Micromax is not your typical budget smartphone. Its custom OS is specifically designed for non-English speaking users in India. But is this a good enough smartphone or does it just have this one feature to offer? Let's start with the build and design. Micromax has certainly stepped up its game in this department and the Unite 4 Pro looks great. The removable metal back cover gives it a touch of class. The 5-inch IPS display has good viewing angles and color reproduction is decent. However, the screen tends to attract fingerprints very easily. There's a fingerprint sensor on the back which sadly doesn't work too well. Not only is it slow, but it often fails to work as it should. This is a dual SIM smartphone with 4G LTE support and a dedicated slot for a microSD card. The Unite 4 Pro is powered by a quad-core Spectrum SoC and features 2GB of RAM and 16GB of onboard storage. This isn't a particularly powerful processor and multitasking performance isn't great. There's also noticeable lag when using apps. The Unite 4 Pro runs on a custom Indus OS 2.0 which supports 12 regional languages. You can choose to either change all text across the OS to your native language or set a secondary language and switch to it easily when needed. There's a language-oriented special such as Indus Reader, which reads the text out loud when you copy what you want translated and then hit the speaker button on the screen. Indus Keyboard has good native language integration and the SMS app lets you perform native language translation and transliteration with just a simple swipe. Finally, App Bazaar lets you purchase apps without the need of a credit card or a Google account thanks to carrier billing. The Unite 4 Pro is a good phone to live with thanks to its ergonomic design. However, it does fall short in terms of performance. Audio quality through the speakers and through the headphone socket is also below average. The rear 8 megapixel camera has decently quick autofocus, but it tends to sharpen pictures a bit too much, thus blurring details. Low light performance isn't very good either. The front camera does a possible job at selfies under good lighting. On the other hand, the Unite 4 Pro redeems itself when it comes to battery life, as it will last you an entire day or more on a single charge. Our only gripe here is the slow charging. This phone takes literally hours to fully charge. Micromax has done well with the design, battery life and native language integration of the Unite 4 Pro. Unfortunately, its performance is simply mediocre when it comes to apps, the camera, the fingerprint sensor and audio. At 7,999 rupees, it's also tough to recommend this phone just for the native language features. Micromax itself offers similar functionality in lower cost phones and plenty of competitors have strong options at this price point. So that was our review of the Micromax Unite 4 Pro. Hit the thumbs up button and subscribe and follow us on Twitter, Facebook and Instagram.